microphone. Hello, hello. Welcome to Condition Lakia. There we go. How's it going, everyone? Good morning and happy Wednesday. Definitely going to be a good day here. We're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing some back and biceps right now. It's my favorite day. Got some hair going on everywhere. I'm going to get the arms nice and ready. A little flex, a little extend. Flex and extend. So today's aim for my warm-up, definitely going to get that shoulder mobility. Because shoulder mobility is definitely a key to helping you prevent shoulder injuries just from overuse and movement. So I'm going to use my bar here. You can also use cables if you're joining me. But pretty much I'm just going to be putting my shoulders through a little bit of range of movement before I start lifting. Picking up my heavier dumbbells here. I'm going to go side by side. It's like a little mini massage for the shoulder joints. Gets the blood moving around, gets the synovial fluid moving around. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? How's your Wednesday so far? It's nice, bright, and early today. Well, I wouldn't say bright. It's kind of cloudy. A little bit on the gloomy side. But it's back. So it's going to be a good day. I love these shoulder rotation twists. These ones feel like... A nice little mini massage. Now to the other side. Go for one more here. Chest and triceps. Nice. Did you end up going to like a do a gym workout or? More of an at-home workout. This is quite weightless. It's just more of the movement, getting the shoulders still in movement. I'd have to say chest and triceps would be like second. Well, yeah, second favorite. I love doing chest press. Chest press is fun. Gym? Yeah, I miss some things at the gym. There are some things I do miss. But I have fun with my home workout set. Right, starting with my dip bars here. What's your favorite machine at the gym for chest and triceps? Or do you prefer more of like the barbells or dumbbells? set of those. Remember when I bought these bars? I was super excited about it because then I could actually practice at least inverted rows and dips and do some ab work with it. Super pumped about this, this uh, dip bar set. Still having fun with it. Learning to the, well not really learning, well, I guess you could say learning, learning to get my muscles stronger. Can't quite see my own text right here. <laughs> okay. 
I agree with you. Dumbbells are amazing. The dips. I'm like 50% on dips. I like dips. But maybe because they're very challenging for me still. I think that's why I don't love them as much. So I've got my dip bar, so they're a work in progress. I've gotten to the point now with dips, I can do weightless going down. So I'll have my feet up on the way down, but then I'll use my feet on the up to assist. So I'm always there, part way. All right, so if you are going to join me, anybody, I'm starting with 20 pound dumbbells, going for some underhand rows. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hips are at the hinge ready. Into a flat back. Palms are forward. Going into an underhand row. Dumbbells are going towards the sides of my hips here. Squeezing my back muscles. and alternating. You know it's the machine I used to have the most fun with at the gym. The machine chest fly. I love that one. Uh, because of that one I started doing open hand flies. <laughs> I went a little too power crazy with one of my pulls. Smashed my fingers together. A little too much pre-workout that day I guess. <laughs> Grabbing my dumbbells, hammer curl time. my breath for a quick moment. I'm going to go back to those underhand rows. Today feels pretty good on the back today. It's got the blood flowing. Feeling good today. Hinge point. Alternating 10. There we go. Catch my breath real quick, and then it'll be the hammer cross. Awesome. I love these dumbbells. This 20 dumbbells, that is a fun challenge. I love it. And ready? Hammer curls. Mentally prep here. Ooh, 
under the... Now one more round, starting with the underhand rows. Here we go. Palms up, hips at that hinge point, back is flat, dumbbells to the hips. One more of the hammer curls. I like the mix up of doing hammer curls, regular curls, different kinds of bicep curls. I always thought it was kind of a fun thing to measure out the brachialis muscle because here you're working regular biceps. But if you were to do reverse curls, the brachialis is the one doing most of the work. So it's kind of fun to see the difference. And let's give those curls a go. Trick with curls. Eliminate all of that momentum. And let all the work get into the biceps instead. Set those to the side. Coming up next, I'm going to do some dumbbell back flies and regular curls for the superset. Although I think I'm going to use my 15 dumbbells for the back fly. Let's see how I feel about the curls in a moment. But for sure, the back fly. I'm going to use my 15s. All right, so from here, hinge point, make sure I got some space. Back is flat. Arms are going out as straight as possible. Back with back and biceps. The grip strength would give up first. But over time, grip strength has gotten better with the dumbbells. So it's not so much of a deterrent anymore. Slightly, but not bad. <sighs> Knees are unlocked, hips are at a hinge just slightly. And that way, when you curl up, can really focus on flexing your abs and your biceps without using any momentum. Ten right there. 
jump back into my back life in just a moment here. Still finding random little hairs everywhere. Far less than before, which is nice. Diet change has quite a big impact on your hair loss and hormones and all that. I find it very interesting how just adding at least five handfuls of vegetables a, a day, variety of colors of course, can do such wonders for your body. It's amazing. I think at the moment I do maybe about between five and ten handfuls a day. And I like to mix up the colors and the varieties of whatever I'm eating. And it's great for energy. ever did want to read a book about vegetables and energy. I did write a book about it, actually. <laughs> I loved it so much I wrote a book about it. So even the last two chapters of my book is nothing but charts. I charted out the most common vegetables and fruits that you find in a grocery store. And the first group of charts tells you all the vitamins and minerals that are in each one. And then the second group of charts will tell you the macros and all the vitamins. Oh, sorry. The first charts tell you exactly what that vegetable, what it does for you, like what the vitamins and what the vitamins and minerals do for you, like selenium, magnesium, like. What are they, what they do for you? That's the first set of charts. And that goes through all the vitamins and minerals. And then the second group of charts is the most common fruits and vegetables that you find in the store. And that one has the macros, vitamins and minerals that are in each one. If you're watching and you want to check that out, that's in my website, direct link right there. And right there. A little more round of each. include those with anything really. You can include them with a breakfast dish, lunch dish, dinner dish, snack. I love it. Tomatoes too. Tomatoes you can kind of infuse with just about anything. And they're loaded with so many vitamins and minerals. One more of these back sides. fun with my dumbbells next. Well, they're all fun. <laughs> Unlock knees, hips at a slight hinge, curling that up.
10 right there. Next to, I need my wall space here. Move my dip bars. Move my dip bars. My goodness. I think I should have space here. I'm going to test out with my 10s first. See how I feel about that. I feel like I can't control it as good. I'll probably drop to fives. I'll mix my back because I'm already kind of feeling it. All right, so hips on the wall. Kind of like a slight bend in the knees here. Hinge forward so your back is nice and flat. <laughs> All right, starting. Dumbbells at the sides of the legs. Up. Ooh. Not the fives. I can already feel my back muscles getting kind of shaky. That's pretty awesome. All right. Dumbbells at the sides. Up. Flat. And back down. I could probably do something in between fives and eight, uh, fives and tens. But that's okay. Rolling with what I got here. So far, I'm going for 15. Woo. Better core. Bit of lats. Bit of deltoids for the shoulders. Restarting my music here. So here, I'm going to do a bicep curl with a low row fly. So like a 45 angle curl, low back fly. 45 angle curl, low back fly. Three, four. So far, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There, I like the supersets. This one's fun. Got one more. Well, two more really. We're on the second round here. So grabbing the wall. Nice deep breath, one more. Getting ready for it. Hinge forward so your back is flat. Forward, flat, pull, forward, down. That's one. And so far, five more. Fifteen there. Setting those down. Better put the towel off here.
bicep curls to low row fly are coming up next. Starting to feel a nice pump in the muscles going. Curl 45, low row extension, or low row fly, I call it most. so far. Fifteen there. Four more of each. Starting with the back forward extension to lap pull against the wall. Set of 15 for these. One deep breath. One more deep breath. And getting into that hinge position. Back is flat. Neck is neutral. Up, flat, pull, forward, down. More. Fifteen there. Actually, that was the third one there, so I'm going to set these away. I'll put my dip bars back real quick. And now I'm going to need that space back for next bit. One more of the curls to low row extensions for lower fly. All right, I'm ready. Curl, low row extension. And so far, Ooh, fifteen there. A little bit of a water break here, just real quick. here. Making sure shoulders are over the wrist. I'm just going to dip my back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. Let all the deltoids do the work. Three. Single arm rows. Oh, what's next? Grab my 20. Have a deep breath. Split stance here. Bit of a lean forward like I'm going to run. Flexing the back with every row. Fifteen there, swapping sides. About eleven. In there. Bice up next. I'm going to alternate regular and hammer curl. Uh, see how I feel with my 15 pound dumbbells first for the first round. My arms are still feeling pretty good. I feel like 15 should be good. Knees are unlocked, hips are slightly hinged. That way the core is ready to be activated. No momentum, hammer, twist the wrist, regular, twist, hammer, three, twist, four, And so far, five more. Fifteen there. Making sure I have enough space for those deltoid push ups. Bit of a towel off. Down to my deltoid push-ups into that plank position. Shoulders over wrist. One, two. Fifteen there. Single arm rows coming up next. Nice deep breath for stuff. And one more deep breath. Again with my twenty here. Getting into that split stance. As if I'm gonna go for a run. One, two, two, 
some more. Now the trick with these single arm rows, if you're following along and working out with me here, don't let your back come up and twist. Just keep your back as flat and as steady as possible. And so far. Alternating curls right now. Quick breather. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. All right, got those 15 curls, alternating hammer and regular. Ready? Knees are unlocked, hips are ready for the core to engage. Ten so far. Eleven. Fifteen there. Four more rounds, starting with the deltoid push ups coming up. Jumping right in it. Deltoid push ups, here we go. Fifteen there. Single arm rows coming up next. One nice deep breath first time. Maybe two. <laughs> I got my twenty, and I'm ready for it. in there. Other side. Done so far. In there. Last little bit. Alternating hammer curls and regular curls. One more time. Let's do a nice deep breath, of course. All right. Last little push. Feet are shoulder width. Knees are hint. Knees are bent. Hips are at that hinge ready point. Core is engaged. Eight. 
eight so far. That's about halfway. Five more. Fifteen there. Woo. Now a quick stretch. Now normally. Good idea to stretch for about 10 to 15 minutes every day. If you can do that twice a day, that's even better for your body. Like an early morning stretch for about 5 to 10 minutes helps a lot with your posture. And then if you do a night stretch, like 5 to 10 minutes before bed, it actually helps you sleep a lot better because you let the muscles relax. I like to do a little bit of both. A bit in the morning, a bit in the nighttime. Definitely great for injury prevention. As well as helping with any soreness. side here. Grab my little bar right here for the last little stretch. Again, you can use cables if you're stretching along with me. Or you can use a broomstick. Bring the arm up. I have my thumbs and my fingers all on the same side of this. Just makes it feel a little bit easier on the wrist. Rotate to one side. Rotate to the other side. That arm that's on the bottom is kind of straight. Kind of like a behind the head lap pull down. Don't let the bar touch your back. There's a space there. Don't, don't let that touch. And then it'll stretch the spine as well as the rear shoulders. Up gently and forward gently. Well, thank you so much for joining in. Whoever worked out with me, I hope you had an awesome workout as well. Tomorrow I'll be here 7.30. Tomorrow's leg day. So that should be another fun workout. Um, if you ever wanted to check out that book or you just want to check out my website, it's right there on that link or www.conditionbykia.com. But thanks for joining me. Have an awesome, wonderful Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow, 7.30, bright and early. Bye.